Having the title of world's tallest skyscraper is an exemplary achievement for developers across the world. Ever since man started to build up, we've been competing to see who can build the tallest structure. Build heights of skyscrapers have exploded in recent years thanks to advanced engineering and renewed monetary investment. However, most of the world's tallest buildings are hiding a dirty little secret. They're not actually that tall. The tallest points on the world's tallest buildings do actually reach some staggering heights, but the actual building part rarely does. Developers have long placed spires or towers on top of skyscrapers to just inch out the competition and win the title of world's tallest building. These pinnacles add feet, often hundreds of feet, onto the height of buildings, all with relatively low cost. They also reduce the complexity of the engineering. The Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat, or CTBUH, studied all of the world's tallest buildings and found some interesting data. They discovered that nearly 60% of the world's tallest buildings, called super talls, actually wouldn't be super talls without added wasteful space on top, such as spires. The organization calls this wasteful height vanity height. Take, for example, the Burj Khalifa, the current holder of the world's tallest building title. It stands at 828 meters tall from base to top of the spire. However, the highest occupied floor only goes as high as 585 meters. That means that there are 244 meters of non-occupiable space on the skyscraper that otherwise make it so tall. This equates to roughly 29% of the entire higher structure being wasted. The Bank of America Tower in New York is even worse. This structure stands 366 meters tall, an otherwise respectable height for a tall building. However, usable floors stop at just 235 meters, meaning that 131 of the 366 total meters of height are left unusable. That equates to 36% of the entire building. That may seem bad, but it's not even the worst super tall in terms of wasted space in the world. That honor, or rather disappointment, goes to the Burj Al Arab. The Burj Al Arab stands at 321 meters tall and is the world's tallest hotel. You've likely seen photos of the building's striking construction and architecture, but you'll notice that the top is mostly architectural fluff. All that fluff equates to 124 meters of non-occupiable space, or 39% of the entire structure's height. When you take a look at the rest of super tall buildings, you can see that this problem isn't just limited to the buildings we just mentioned. 95 out of the 360 meters of the Pinnacle Building is all vanity, or 27%. The Emirates Tower 1 has 113 out of 355 meters as vanity space, or 32%. Finally, the 450 meter Zaithang Tower has 133 meters of non-occupiable height, or 30% of the entire structure. This is an incredibly persistent problem when it comes to super tall structures. These findings from CTBUH mean that while these structures are still tall, their height isn't as impressive. It takes much less engineering to construct these unoccupiable spaces and thus their creation is almost always a ploy to win a title of world's tallest. The problem of vanity height isn't necessarily a new one either, but it's getting worse. The Chrysler Building is 21% vanity height and the Empire State Building is 2% vanity height. These were some of the first structures to start the trend in the 1930s. It was during this era that the competition for the world's tallest building began heating up and only accelerated into the 21st century. Humanity's drive to have the biggest, tallest thing means that sometimes engineers make buildings taller than they really need to be. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, you can check out more of our videos here and here, or you can subscribe to our channel here. We have videos coming out every Monday, and if you really believe in what we're doing and want to make sure that we can keep creating videos every week, you can support us on Patreon here.